Hello, 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 everybody. This is Tony Wolf here again, and I want to make this video for you guys so I can share my experience for today. Today is Monday. I was training in the shooting range with my instructor, Leone, learning so many stuff about shooting. Okay, let's make this simple. Today, I was realized that I can be dead anytime in the shooting range because if you don't practicing enough, you're slow, you can get killed. Everybody can get killed even if they have the ability, but if you're doing it slow, buddy, you're dead. You got more probabilities to be dead than other people that got more ability. That's why I recommend it to you guys practicing all the time at home. It's no shame or that practicing at home with the anti-max anti-gun remember safety first always every time you um, disengage again you have to be careful with their safety for those that don't follow me on instagram and they don't see the pictures that i posting today go follow tony wolf 1986 and i have a picture today of the faith the safety rules the master leone have in his range okay so we was setting all the all the guns there and he tell me all the rules that we need to follow every time the safety rules i was considering myself enough prepared to handle in a gun in a safety way i was considering myself good in the range and then i realized when i start doing all these trainings that i is sloppy and i have no techniques because every time that you learn something for one or two days then you forget buddy you just forget then that's why it's very very important practicing every every week if you want to get a profession in this area body protection you have to train every day the exercise for body protection and become better and better so you be prepared in the real life don't just you know stay there looking pretty with your suit and thinking that you are a badass because you know some martial arts or whatever that's not how it works that's not how the body protection aging is okay that's not it is security is a big big area that you need to pay attention to it so if you want to be a professional guy doing executive protection or close protection guys you need to practice in gun drills that's main important in this profession it's not just doing martial arts and be good in the physical involvement you need to practice in a lot with guns and uh, I was practicing with guns in the shooting range, but that's not useful enough. You need to find some instructor that really puts you in the situation in the real life with exercise as a real life. And then you start realize how much you need to learn. That's, that's how I, I feel right now. That's happening to me right now. Because I was considering myself good shooter. I just realized that I'm not. I'm really slow. I'm a sloppy with changing the max. So I need to practice even more. Even more. Okay. And um, the, the tip that I want to bring you guys today is about what happens if you can get stuck and you're in the middle of the shooting okay that's the exercise that we was doing it today and that's why i like it because there are scenarios that you have to always pay attention to it when you do doing body protection that are really really useful in the real life okay you are involved in the shooting what you do that's the three steps the marines has tap rack engage simple that's the three steps that you should memorize and you should do it every day with your gun okay you memorize this and you're doing it every day as a memory method you already oh it's stuck stop rock engage 
If it doesn't go, then take cover, change Mac, or find out what happened. Okay, but these RGSIs are so, so useful. And I was thinking that I got that. And everybody probably think that they got that because that's really easy, okay? Let's make this simple. Like I always say, safety first. Make sure that my gun is empty, my Mac is empty in front of you guys. <coughs> I'm sorry. So, uh, the finger always out of the trigger. Always. You never manipulate your gun with the finger in. Uh -uh. Always outside the finger. Outside. Okay, so the top rack engage a scenario was extremely useful for me. I find out that everybody can do this at home. Oh. Everybody can do that and a speed. But in the real life when you're shooting, it doesn't work the same way because your nerves are high, your adrenaline is bumping, and you start to become sloppy. Okay, so that's why it's good to go and train at least once a week. Practicing once a week in the polygonal, go there and practicing real life scenarios. Not just go to the range and shoot 50 yards or something like that. No, go to the range. But it's better go and train with instructor next to you because it's worth it, guys. If you don't have a friend or you guys are out of the money or anything, then find the money and doing it because that's your life what is what is engaged you know that's your life what is in front of the line if you don't practicing you just lost the most important thing for you which is your life so please guys spend money and go train that's important if you want to get in this profession as executive protection agent it's not just have the permits to wearing a gun and showing off your badge to everybody it's not just that don't be a fool yourself okay you need to practicing every day until you become a professional in this remember guys remember if you want to be good in something you need to practice it and for the security details, there is so many stuff that you need to learn and practicing that it will take you a lot of time. So, you're doing it right now. If you have time, make your time and doing it right now if you want to be an executive protection agent. Don't waste your time just going to the, to the gym and leave, leave way and become a stronger guy. <coughs> That's good. But if you have the time to go to the gym every day, one hour, you just spend at least a half an hour practicing at home your drills with your gun because those two things are very attached in this profession. So, top rack engage exercise. You can do it at home. Watch me. I will do it slow so you guys can learn. I will try to do it my best. I never edit my videos, so if I make a mistake, it's okay. I just wanted that you guys know what is important and take the details out of and you can practice it at home by yourself, okay? So, top rack engage. You are involved in the shooting. You shoot, shoot, shoot. You gun get stuck. You top rack engage. What happens if you are um, in, involved in the shooting and then even if you top rack engage, doesn't go through, you take cover, change Mac. Okay? I'm engaged again. You search around, you check your six, and then you load your gun. That's basically the exercise that I was doing it today with the Commander Leone. And I'm... Um, <coughs> I tell you guys, when you start hearing the sounds of the of the shoots 
and your adrenaline start bumping, you get sloppy in this. Even if you're thinking that you have it, you're done. So even the experts, I've been see law enforcement guys, I've been see soldiers with a special backgrounds get sloppy on this. That's the basics techniques for shooting. And you need to practice in this every day. It's like in martial arts, you have the basic techniques that you need to practice in at least once a week, every day, until your whole life to master in that techniques. It's the same thing here. These steps are basics gone practicing. Basic. You need to go out every day and doing it. Top, rack, engage change mark properly and engage simple it looks simple but you need to practice in this because these are the basics okay what happens if you are involved in the shooting and you can get stuck and then do not have that memorized already that you need to tap rack engage you just get killed so that's why these things are so, so important, okay? In the security area, it's a lot of more stuff involved. It's a lot of mental prepares, um, alertness that you need to learn. And I will start sharing with you guys a little bit more about that, you know, how to search for, for the targeting in the crowds and you know, make the intelligence when it's a concert, um, you know, make sure the threat's what it is. It's many, many, many stuff that we can talk about and uh, spend hours talking. So I want to make these videos short, at least in 10 minutes. And I want to start sharing stuff, you know, little by little so you guys can follow me in my process to become especially, you know, uh, executive protection agent. Okay? So... Like I always say, guys, pay attention to the little details and be safe. Follow me, follow me in my next video. Uh, if it's not, go on my Instagram or Facebook or Snapchat. Tony Wolf Blackhorn Security. That's the name of the channel. Or my Instagram is Tony Wolf 1986. And my Snapchat is the same thing. Tony Wolf 1986. Okay? So. Be safe, guys.